Hello everybody, welcome back to Crystal's Collectibles. Before we get started, please check out my links down below to my social media accounts so you can give feedback on my videos. As most of my videos are marked as kid friendly, they're going to take away all my comments so that is the only way to keep in touch with you guys and for you guys to give me feedback on my mocks and videos and what I can do better on them. Today I'll be sharing with you my mock of a movie store. Now it's not like a blockbuster or anything, it is just a movie store I made because I wanted to use a lot of my stickers and I felt my town could use a movie store because most of the heroes in my town are movie buffs. So I just figured this would be a good place for them to get their movies or this place is not a place to get movies per se, it's more of a place to get movie items like posters and collectibles, maybe collector's editions of movies, but not movies per se, because this one is a place you go to get like the posters and collectibles and they give you a ticket with the number so you can download the movie online. The movie is part of the deal. Start out in front. This movie store is called CNRs. Stand for Cisco and Ralph from the CW shows, The Flash. And their tag is Cisco and Ralph's First Order Keeping the Magic Alive Movie Store. Because I'm doing a superhero town, and it's mainly a DC town. I couldn't think of two better CW heroes than Cisco and Ralph that are both movie buffs to run a store together. I could have done Cisco and Ray, which also works in this context because Cisco and Ray are big movie buffs. It could be Cisco, Rouse, and Ray's, but it's short. This is CNR. That works too. As you can see, there's some movie posters up front. The Lion King. Mickey Mouse. Abu from Aladdin. All new releases and the Trolls movie and the new Jurassic World. Turn this around. Just multicolored place because I wanted to use a lot of these bigger bricks because the good bigger bricks I have a lot more of than the small building bricks so And I figured for a movie store, it's going to be colorful because it's a colorful movie store. Now when you walk in, you will see, you will see the roof. It has two vents and two uh, uh, satellites. 
The two satellites are for the movies playing. I'll show you in a second. And two vents. One is for heating, of course. And the other vent could either be extra heating or cooling down to keep the collectible safe. Or that's the controls for the movies playing down below. And these are the movies playing down below. It's a movie about Green Arrow. And the Canary Sisters. Because those two are heroes that are probably going to disappear in the Crisis on Infinite Earths or because there are two heroes that died. Same with these two. Batman and The Flash. These are all, all heroes that are protecting the city and they move, made movies about them to honor them. Even if they survive, it's just movies to honor them. Now I would have had a Superman movie, but I couldn't fit all the heroes without it being too crowded, so these movies can be easily switched with other stickers with other heroes. And the red and blue are lighting that light up the store. And when you walk inside, you will see this counter right here, which includes the cash register, which I stickered up myself. The dog is for animal or in kids' posters and movies. The donut is for snacks that sell and the heart is for more adult movies that they sell. And then there's different categories from there but they press the, either the kids' movies, the heart for adult movies, or the donut and then they know what they're selling to keep inventory. On the counter you can see different things. The snacks. They sell popcorn of course. This little um, notepad is little facts about movies like a little book about movies that you can also get in real life like the pocket sized books. You got a flask which is like Jekyll and Hyde. The pineapple from Pineapple Express or the Psych movie and just some snacks with the chocolate chip cookie more snacks they sell. On the side of that you see a bone as a like a Jurassic World collectible. The um, hockey stick from any hockey movie or TMNT from Casey Jones. See the heart Lego piece from the Wizard of Oz set. That's a Wizard of Oz collectible and the briefcase from that movie um well the Harry Potter movie the Despicable Beast that could be that briefcase or 
I don't know the name of the movie, but there's a scene at the end where he opens the briefcase and there's only light. You don't see what's inside the movie. That could be a replica of that briefcase too. Now on top of the wall, see different things. Got the replica of the Back to the Future hoverboard. A gun that could either be from Dirty Harry or the Terminator movies. Got the basket from the Wizard of Oz. And the Doctor Who screwdriver from the Doctor Who movies and TV show. Inside you also have right here. When you walk in, you have, hold on, I put it on j jumper so I can take it out, off. See, there's different stickers. The Witch is the Wizard of Oz poster and movie. As I said before, anything you buy in this store, you get the movie free with purchase. So, The Wizard of Oz movie. These two are a double pack of Godzilla and King Kong. It's a double pack movie. You get two posters and two movies. Same with this. It's the Wolfman and Dracula movies, double pack. And this one are two of the hero movies that are playing. You can buy those too. A story about the Flash and Green Arrow, how they met, how they became friends. And that's a popular seller. That's why it's up front. All these are the most popular sellers. That I put on jumper stud so I can easily take it out. And put it back in. Like that. Inside. Don't know how well it's lit, but. I can take them off the wall. One second. Inside, these are all the posters that are on the wall that you can buy. Get a lot of Disney ones, including a Star Wars BB-8 poster, a Fantasia poster with Mickey Mouse, a Frozen poster with the mini snowman, a Disney princess poster of Rapunzel and Pascal. Best friends forever. Another Disney one with from Toy Story 4. I don't know the name of these characters, but it's the bunny and chick. And of course, Minions. Again, when you purchase these guys, you also get the movie with them, so they're really popular among fans. Inside, there's also more shelves with more movie posters. There's a Disney Princess Animal poster, a Tam and T poster, and a Lego movie poster. With these, you get the movies associated with it but these two have every single Tam and T movie included which cost a lot of money so that's a special edition same with the Lego movie too you get both movies but it's not as expensive what is expensive is these three the Spider-Man movie set, which includes every single Spider-Man movie. 
The Batman won the same thing every single Batman movie made. And The Lion King. These are in back because these are really expensive movies. That's why they're in back right here. Because not a lot of people can afford those three. And these are middle priced, so. They're in the middle. And the most ball movies are up in front. There's also two bins full of collectible movie items. These two are also on jumper studs. Inside are some movie collectibles. Dump them out. See, there's a pickaxe from Toy Story 2 from the po Prospector or any older Western movie. Cat claws like Wolverine. Or Black Panther, a bow and arrow from Robin Hood, handcuffs like the ones they used to catch meadows, or um, the Police Academy movies. And a Gryffindor flag from the Harry Potter franchise. That's in bin one. And in bin two you get a Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth replica. Two different colored swords from different movies. Like Ninja movies, like Kill Bill and stuff. A trident from Little Mermaid or Aquaman. And a replica of Thor's hammer, Minor. Minor? Something like that. And last but not least is a do-it-yourself movie starter kit that they offer up. Including a book, a starter book, where it tells you, teaches you how to start making a movie. Goes in there perfectly. Film for the camera. That's important. A walkie talkie to talk to the workers and stay in contact. A director's microphone. That's important. The camera, of course, and a map of places that allow you to film. They did that work for you, so you can just start filming. The map shows the places that allow you to. Well, that's it for today's video of my Cisco, Ralph, and... Ray's Movie Store. Hope you all enjoyed and remember to follow me on social media. Hope you all enjoyed and have a fantastic day.